I want to talk about the little thing. We're going to, well, the big thing we're going to Gregory Park. And, you know, Sir P, I've been vlogging about this guy here, Chargy. Chargy Badness. And, uh, I remember with him and Silk Boss, I had a little thing going on and them rap beat Silk Boss and them thing there. So, I've been doing my research into the Gregory Park uh, thing and, you know, right off the jump, that shit right there is disgraceful. Listen, I hate it. Uh, I can't believe how low these Jamaican waste men have gone. Uh, what can motivate Chargy or the other boy from Compound, Camille said Chargy is from Clark's Lane, to fund this kind of terrorism activity in our land of Jamaica. What is going on? Now, let me explain where Gregory Park is. The Gulf is a part of Gregory Park and compound. Gregory Park is a part of St. Catherine. Uh, you remember when they started building up over St. Catherine like Waterfoot, all of them places. Gregory Park was already built up. So it was like the first housing development. And it's crazy because as a young youth growing up, Gregory Park was a nice place to live and a lot of people wanted to leave from my area and move go to Gregory Park. So I don't understand how them youth can turn Gregory Park into a thing like that. Now, you have a couple different men over in that area there and it seems like the man them I throw down a blood clean war and thing. Yo, I'm not going to talk too much on this, you know. But I think so one of the youth over there named Pego. And the next youth, one of them named Pego. And I can't remember the other youth name. But Chargy, a one of them. And yo, I don't have much to say because I have some more information upon the whole of them because since this go down I do my research but all I tell them man your dog you guys get the break and come to America or Canada or wherever uh, you making money and my god man you telling me that you sending money back to Jamaica to fight war it doesn't even make sense. And the same thing happening in my area where I grow. The same thing happened all over Jamaica. And it just seems like the man them is just getting more and more extreme. Now, what may I say? Nobody in another group there can talk sense to the man them. Eh? That's what I want to know. It is very, very disturbing when you have people in our neighborhood and they can't even come together and have a decent peace settlement and talk about things because I hear say there was some peace thing I go on over there and then all of a sudden things broke out now another thing when me hear I me hear this directly upon the news the People them were come bond down the people them house. There was also females in the uh, with the attackers. So the attackers were a group of people that involved men and women. Now, we can't understand this. How can a woman out there with the man them? No, say she is a woman and she have kids. She have a mother. Even the man them and go in. And burn down people house. The other day, them did cut off a man's head and drop the head in, a, in front of somebody's door. The kind of crime where the people them are the dog 
it just doesn't make sense yo it shows that jamaica totally is on the verge of collapse especially when it comes to the criminal justice system and crime because we are getting so much crime and these exponential crime uh the, the system can't even deal with it uh how much kill squad police can you send out to kill off everybody uh how much gunman can kill off everybody i mean it is crazy so me i beg the man them for put it down charge it you understand because your name i call up like I said, I do my research and I have another video coming out. But, we just a big demand them, dog. Put on the violence. Because, listen, it, it, it hunger hurt we as a country and as a nation. And, and let me explain to you. Now, when you see the other day, Canada get all them other countries, you know, visa free travel and more more crime and when money said more crime because we have more people so we are gonna have the most crime in terms of murder and them thing there but when you look at the other islands them and it is no disrespect if this is a fact the crime where they might do is more how can i put it is more serious because me have a group of photo from Trinidad where people dead it in a the WhatsApp group when you can go look on it me can't put them things up on YouTube and if you see the scale of violence that is used among citizens in Trinidad it make your head spin and we as Jamaicans because we always are load up ourselves and we always like to be in the forefront everything dropped on we so we didn't get visa free travel and that's because of stuff like this that is being carried out in our country and countries like Canada and the US them have man on the ground them have FBI down there them have CIA, like people don't understand this, you know. Uh, the US, them listening for any phone call, so obviously them are listening for the government and stuff like that. Them, they know what's going on. So these kind of acts, it affects us as a country in a many different ways. And, you know, Man and man can't see because everybody's selfish and everybody's into themselves. But these kind of acts is why we're not getting visa free travel. Why we're always looked upon as the wickedest in the Caribbean, as as the worst set of drug dealers because of Shower Posse. I mean, people still talking about Shower Posse when you have guys right now. In place like Tortilla and other places, St. Lucia and other places, moving like 2,000 pounds of cocaine dog at regular intervals. When you have man driving up and down in boats, you see what I'm saying? Doing multiple uh, big time dope dealer or whatever the hell. You have killings. You have all sorts of things going on in those areas, but Jamaica is always in the forefront and we get blamed for it. So Chargy and the man them over Gregory Park, over Gulf, over Compound. It no look good dog. And I fuck Ronaldo. That's all me have to say. I just have to make my comment on this. Because like I said, it really disturbing and it bother me. And more video come out because I have to go do my research and, and talk about this and talk about the man them dog. Straight up. My name is Countryman. Remember if you like, share, subscribe and click on another video.
Remember Yank, you ain't no killer video. It's gonna be on the side today. So stay tuned for that.